you're 30 plus, single, already accomplished everything. What's the point of getting married now? Okay, marriage is not the end. Marriage is what completes one's deen. Right, this is a great sunnah. There's no guarantee that we will be Muslim, especially living in a hypersexualized society with only half our deen. Allah is free from all need. He will replace us like He replaced those before us. There's no merit or piety in delaying marriage. Okay, for sisters, mothers are honored in Islam, not women with diplomas and six figures. And for brothers, you'll either end up with a gold digger because she's just there for your money and will leave you at the first sign of a test from her Lord. Allah can take your money at a moment's notice and then she's gone. Or you'll just remain single because you found other ways to satisfy your needs. One of the Rashidun, he saw a man who was like quite up there in age. The man was not married. And he said, you must be a bad man. We should be married. <laughs> not being a bachelor for the rest of our life. All right, school's not going anywhere. People date. As Muslims, we get married. You can work out and be married. Do other things simultaneously while being married. Besides, colleges generally involve interest-based loans. Riba is likened to waging a war with Allah in the Quran. Not even zina is discussed like this, illustrating the severity of usury. The market is oversaturated with degrees, but a job is not guaranteed. The only thing that's guaranteed is going in debt and fighting a war with Allah. That's it. As I said, wives are not responsible to provide financial. And for brothers, you know, there's trades. Learn a skill and monetize it. If you can afford college, great. But know what you're going into, even if you can't afford it. The only thing that college is necessary for is if you're going to become a doctor everything else can be self-taught you can't expect your husband to be at home when you want an extravagant lifestyle he's going to have to work a lot for you to maintain your luxury you can't have both especially having both without any problems am i saying marriage is sunshine and rainbows no there's going to be tests and everything but marriage is supposed to bring you peace not cause more problems for you marriage is not the problem y'all want a man on d but if prophet muhammad peace be upon him was here today no sister would associate with him or look his way whatsoever but you guys would call him cheap he didn't give a big mahar you guys would call him dirty he had a beard, right? It wasn't lined up and tapered and faded. You'd call him broke because he went for three months on only dates and water. You'd call him homeless because he ate on the ground with three fingers, but then claimed to love him. You son of a gun. Because of that, men think that they need to accumulate all these resources just for a woman to look their way. Are men just walking banks? If women don't like being perceived as objects, why is a man's value only viewed with how much money he has? Women always like to bring up Khadija when it comes to like, oh, why can't I work? But then fail to acknowledge that she was the one that proposed to Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, before his success, before prophethood, but because of his character and manners. She had his children, she raised them, she invested in him, she supported him. And by the way, she had servants and people working for her, for the business she inherited from her father. She wasn't the one out bumping shoulders with men, being a hashtag girl boss. So men need to start being men and not being pushovers and being manipulated by women. If a woman's only gonna be with you because of money, then bro, that's one less person to worry about. Don't sell yourself short. And who are you trying to impress? Because women value is a man that has principles, a man that isn't emotional, as in he can't control his 
anger. If you can be manipulated by a woman, then she's never gonna respect you. I can boil it down to that. Stop following culture. Because the American culture is going to school, getting a job, buying a house. In other words, take out loans, go in debt, get a mortgage. <laughs> and then the Arab culture is be a big macho, aggressive person, but only to women. Yelling at women, talking down to women, beating on women. But then with men, you cower and have your tail between your legs, like a dog. That's not what a man is. A man isn't someone who shouts at women. And a man is not someone that simps for women. A man is someone that protects women, takes care of women, leads women, guides women. Gentle, but firm. As in you need to be strong and not be swayed by women's emotions. Women is supportive, nurturing, loving, submissive, obedient. That's what a woman is. Not belittling everything a man does. Constant complaints, nagging, being ungrateful. None of that. Marriage is what completes our deen. Not a degree, not a career, but we've made marriage complicated that zina has become easy and accessible. We have the religion of the creator. We have something, we have what everyone wants. Like you see all these people that are rich and you know successful, right? The countries with the highest GDPs, they still have depression and suicide. So the Muslim majority countries may not have high GDPs. And despite, you know, being bombed constantly, those people, they're still content. They're at peace because they know the reality of this world. They know the reality of this life. It's temporary. And if money was the measure of success, then Abu Dhab would be the most successful. But we know how Allah talks about him in the Quran. Sitting on your rear, fiddling your thumbs, preaching zina is haram, that doesn't accomplish anything. The solution is marriage, but you don't help the youth get married. Then wonder why the youth is dating, getting pregnant, having abortions, and ultimately leaving Islam. What do you think goes on on college campuses that you're sending them to? You're sending them to these environments, right, with half their deen, one, expecting them to remain Muslim, and then when they leave Islam, point the finger at them, belittle them, talk down to them. Are you serious? The time we are living in right now is more sexualized than it has ever been. But marriage is at an all-time low. Why did you have children then? If you didn't want the responsibility of helping your children get married, why did you have children? Why did you get married? Why didn't you just not get married? That's what you're telling your kids. But no, it's okay for you to get married. Men and women don't know their responsibilities in a marriage. All they know is that Y equals MX plus B and that the mitochondria is the powerhouse of the cell. That's all they know. Not everything is mental illness. We can't chalk this up to senseless domestic violence. These things will continue to happen unless we address them. It's disingenuous, it's disheartening to invalidate someone's feelings. It wasn't senseless to begin with. There was a reason for it and we need to address those reasons so it doesn't happen again.